Hey guys, here's the story of a ceiling fan I was supposed to get, and a fan I didn't mean to get. Now, the fan I didn't mean to get. <laughs> this J.C. Penny Alaska Hugger. I believe it is a 52-inch, big six-bladed hugger, too. And the fan I was supposed to get. A ornate Japanese Lasco-style ceiling fan. Same hardware and motor that you would find on a Dayton Lasco. That's right, green light bulbs. Those are the only light bulbs I had that would match. And uh, most of these match. <laughs> this one is a 60 watt, different, and these are different kinds of 60 watt bulbs. And this one I think is like a 75 watt. So, yes, here we go. It's a good breeze on low, I will point out. This is a very good fan. <laughs> that is not as good, but it's nearly as good. So, this is probably my best, these are my best ceiling fans I got for free. <laughs> Crank it up to medium. I originally meant to get this fan. But the seller accidentally got gave me this one. <laughs> I met them in person because it was a Facebook Marketplace ad. And when I picked this up, I was trying to figure out how this or where this hugger came from because it's completely different than this. Poor person thought they were the same fan, so <laughs> she, yeah, she didn't think it would matter too much. <laughs> But, when I pointed it out, they felt guilty, so then I got this fan a few months afterwards. Crank it up to high. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this might be one of the buzziest quality fans I've had. <laughs> this is one of the buzziest non-Hampton Bay fans. This one doesn't buzz at all. It has a different problem. <laughs> Little wobble. And the pull chain does that very annoying thing where it taps every now and then. Or kind of more like rubs on it, so it sounds weird. Ooh, it's a strong breeze from both of these. This one I'm a little concerned about. I feel like it should be going faster. But maybe I'm just crazy. The capacitor seam vine wasn't all swollen up or anything, but... Uh... Yeah. That's cool with six blades and the lights. You'll note that is the significantly faster of the two. All right, and spin down. Obviously, that's on a J-hook, so it sways freely. Turn off that light. And like I said, I apologize about the green bulbs. Some may question it by asking me, what are you doing? <laughs> That was good, no. Anyway, cringy puns, cringy puns aside, uh, I believe this one will have the longer spin down. Not sure. That JCPenney surprises me every now and then with a really long spin down. This one I oiled too, so yeah. That one really didn't need it like this one did. This They both obviously came out of the same house. This, I believe, was like in their living room or something. That was in a bedroom. This had stupidly this had stupidly long pull chains on it. Like they were as long as the light chain for this one. So I imagine this was on a higher ceiling. And this one was on like a vaulted ceiling, so it was obviously up high. And uh yeah. This might be one of my favorite fans. This probably is my favorite. It's a beautiful fan. Everything about it is just gorgeous. From zero to high. And, I mean, the JCPenney, it's definitely cool. I don't have any big six-bladed fans. Like, the only thing I have would be, like, Minuet 2s and a Minuet 3. And this is drastically different than a Hampton Bay. <laughs> it's because they're better. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> ah, good breeze. But, yeah, 
And this is definitely going to stay up there. This probably will, because since I don't have anything to replace it with. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And I will, of course, put some matching light bulbs in it. I just gotta find some. <laughs> I have to not be lazy and get some. But there you have it. The ornate Japanese Lasco. And the beautiful JCPenney slash Alaska Hugger. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.